Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt in Sodom and Gomorrah of ancient Israel. There are those who believe that the image that you'll see here in Jordan could be that same wife turned into a pillar of salt stone. Israel's researchers are studying an ancient salt cave linked to the Old Testament story of Sodom and Gomorrah and claim to have made a history-changing discovery. The Malham Salt Cave near the southern end of Israel's Dead Sea is a dark labyrinth of many passages and salt tunnels. This ancient cave on Mount Sodom has been found to be the world's longest salt cave following an extensive mapping of its internal network according to detailed researchers by Hebrew University of Jerusalem with the support of international volunteers as reported by the British Express. But how can the incredible discovery be connected with the Old Testament of the Old Bible and the tragedy in Sodom and Gomorrah? According to the Bible, these sinful cities were destroyed with brimstone and fire as a punishment for the perversions that were being done there. When God ordered the family of Abraham and Lot to leave, the latter's wife turned and looked behind her at the chaos, despite the commandment not to do so, so she turned into a pillar of salt. Let's remember that even the people in Pompeii turned into stone, right? The pyroclastic flow got to them. Now, this incredible biblical story is said to be imprinted in a find where a particular pillar of salt near the entrance was named Lot's wife. However, this column alone does not prove or confirm the story from the Old Testament, as although the site of the largest salt cave in the world is an important biblical landmark, the column is 5.5 meters high, according to DeadSea.com, where you can also see the photo, which does not help the idea, unless Lot's wife was a giantess, but that does not cross over from Genesis. This I've translated for you from a Greek article, Let's remember that uh, before the flood, uh, of course Abraham was after the flood, but before the flood people lived much longer and they were uh, bigger in size. Let's remember what happened when uh, the 12 spies went from the um, tribes of Israel, one man from each tribe, to see what was going on in the promised land. Everything there was gigantic. So please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I've translated this from a Greek article. Thank you. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.